What's up guys? Welcome back, Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, you guys can see that we got a beautiful set of speakers from Alpha One. I am so, so, so stoked to get it installed into the E91 M3 project. Now you guys know that the E91 M3 is not really in driving or running or even electrical, um, you know, readiness or anything like that. But Beamer Tech right now is having a Black Friday deal till the 28th and I don't want you guys to miss it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the video now. It's gonna drop it later, but then you guys won't have much time to actually go get it from Beamer Tech. I think this is an absolute amazing sound system and believe it or not they didn't reach out to me this year I reached out to them I know we are building one of the sickest E91 M3s out there and I wanted one of the best sound systems I have ever heard in that car the Alpha One speakers I've installed previously one other time on an F chassis and oh my god just the speakers alone guys did an absolute transformation including with their old amplifier guys it was amazing they actually just released a new and improved amplifier with so much more tunability capabilities that already come with presets and stuff like that to optimize the system to make it sound any way you like and also, you can actually reach out to them. They can optimize it to exactly what you like, which is absolutely amazing. Now, all that being said, the Black Friday coupon is going to be getting you guys 10% off on their speaker systems. This is their subwoofers right over here. Guys, Looks, it looks like straight art. I'm going to be straight up with you guys like this. Oh, I don't even want to put speaker covers on this. This is beautiful. And also, 10% off on these guys as well. These is their mid-ranges with their tweeters. Guys, I am so excited to build the sickest E91 M3 out there. And knowing it has an amazing sound system, it's going to make it sound and just feel so much more modern and newer and I'm just so stoked. I, I've seen videos of this sound system and it makes the sound system sound so crisp. I'm just too excited. But not only do you guys get 10% off on their speakers, you also get their new and improved amplifier that I was just talking about for the exact same price as their old one. So you guys don't have to pay for the upgrade. It literally becomes the same price as the old one. I'm just using the same code for the Black Friday deal. Again, it's right down there. Check out that first link down below. And guys, this is something I was not expecting. I, when I reached out to them, I was like, hey, I want some subs. I want some speakers. I want an amplifier. I want this. I want to be a, I want to have the sickest build out there. They were like, you know what? We also got you with the coupon, which I just told you guys about, but they also got us with a DIY essential kit, which is not just for me guys. First off, hear the quality on this bad boy. This is something you can keep inside your car. Take it anywhere you want to go. Check out these tools, guys. This is something that literally every BMW owner needs and uh, you got all your essentials. This is actually all you need to install this entire speaker system. This is super cool. And did I forget to mention it's completely for free when you guys use that code? Yes. <laughs> This bad boy is free. I think it's like a $60 value. You guys will get completely free when you guys use my Black Friday code. But without further ado, guys, you guys know the E91 M3, it, it, it's coming together. It's coming together. It, it, as of right now, we don't really have door panels on the car. We don't even have wiring or power to the car properly. So the goal is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on that behind the scenes. And uh, let's try to see if we get some power to that car so we can hear the sound system. It's gonna be the first thing we're actually gonna be doing inside of our E91 M3. I am super stoked. So as you guys know, this is a fully custom build. And honestly, uh, we don't really have much of this stuff put together, but we do have enough stuff put together to be able to hear this sound system, which is the stock sound system. Let me show you guys how these hi-fi speakers actually sound. This is from the factory. This is their base model speakers. Guys, it is absolutely terrible. And that is the reason why I reached out to Alpha One because I know they're going to fix this and not only fix it, but make it the best sounding sound system this wagon's ever going to get. So, so just to show you guys how the stock system sounds, I'm going to go ahead and hold it right over here. Check it out, guys. This thing, I mean, especially on the beat drop, <laughs> it just sounds so bad. show you guys how you go from this garbage to the Alpha One speakers and their new amplifier. It's going to sound so much better, guys. Let's go ahead and start installing those bad boys. Not only are we installing new speakers, but we're also adding some new things to the car, which I'm super stoked for. So now that we have the tools handy and the speakers handy, um, these are the original door cards that came on the car. Now, something I didn't know about M3 door cards is that the front two have speakers. The rears actually don't have speakers unless you have an upgraded sound system. So we're definitely going to have to find two more door cards with speaker cutouts for the rear doors so we can install the full sound system. Them. But in the meantime, your man to the driver's seat. If we can get the subwoofers installed underneath us and then the speakers on both doors installed in the front as well, I mean, that's all we're gonna need to hear until we actually have uh, kids or something. So. <laughs> 
So normally you would remove this door card off of your car. It's held down by a couple bolts underneath the trim piece. Once you actually get the door card removed, if we actually turn it over right over here, you guys can actually see the speaker sitting right over here. On the E90s, the tweeters are actually on the door. So we're gonna go ahead and get back to the car and actually remove the tweeters as well. But in the meantime, to replace the speaker, it's only held down by three 10 millimeters. I lied, I lied, eight millimeters. <laughs> And just like that guys, we no longer need the factory speakers anymore or the factory bolts because it comes with new hardware and spacers. Now before actually installing our mids, um, it does come with these spacers that we're gonna need to install because on these door cards, um, they're gonna sit a little off without actually using the spacers. So in the bag, you guys are gonna find small spacers and bigger spacers. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is just put the bigger spacer on all three sides. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our Alpha One speaker. Guys, this is just <laughs> it's so beautiful, oh my God. So we're gonna go ahead and just set the speaker right on there. Then we're actually gonna put the three smaller spacers on top. And at this point, we're gonna use the hardware that also comes with these speakers to go through. This is their own like spacer hardware. You definitely have to use this because the old nuts aren't gonna work anymore. And now to tighten it, we're gonna go ahead and put on this adapter that also comes in the kit and then this T15 uh, to just go ahead and tighten all three uh, spacer screws. Now that is one down, let's go ahead and get the other door card. And before we actually install those door cards into the car, I actually have the subwoofers uninstalled as well. These are the subwoofers inside of the factory box. The nice thing about the Alpha One speakers, guys, is that it's not a universal speaker. Now, I know a lot of people like universal things. The thing is that people don't think about when you buy a universal speaker that will fit any car, you have to do custom wiring. This kit is direct plug and play. It's gonna literally be a direct replacement for this speaker. It's gonna plug into the factory wiring, no special things needed. And by replacing everything the way it's supposed to be replaced, you're not gonna end up having that stupid electrical malfunction light that can sometimes happen when you install a universal sound system because you have to splice in wires, connect some extra connections. When the electrical tape kind of slides off, the two connections will tap each other and you're gonna throw a lot of random faults. Again, this is direct plug and play. So at this point, I'm actually just removing all these little T15 bolts that are holding the speaker to the shell. I guess you could just give a little bit of a thud and it just comes right on out. So this is the factory speaker. And this honestly doesn't look too dirty down here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up real quick before putting in the new speaker. Ooh, <laughs> talk about direct fitment. So to get this installed, it's literally just two bolts. And of course guys, don't forget to connect the connector. This thing's obviously not gonna work. So now that everything's connected like factory, we're gonna go ahead and just tuck this all away and reinstall our grill. My grill is a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up real quick. Hold up, I just forgot. So we got the subwoofers in, we got the mids in, but we forgot about the, the tweeters or the twitters or the tweeters or the, and the Twitter followers, you know what I'm saying? Wow guys, I am not gonna lie, that is a super easy install. I'm super happy about that. So now that we actually have the trim piece back installed, let's go ahead and install the door card so this door is completely done. So at this point guys, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the door card, but the only thing that's different is that we're actually gonna use this pretty much resistor in between the door card and the actual car itself. So uh, yeah, you connect one end to the speaker, and then once that's connected to the speaker, you can connect the other end right into the car, and bada bing bada bang guys, that's it. That's literally all. No special wiring, no splicing, that's it. And then we can go ahead and also connect our tweeter. And once we actually have everything connected, guys, we can go and just reinstall the door card. And just like that, guys, we have the subwoofers in, the mids, and the tweeters in the car. I, th I keep saying tweeters. I really hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> so I got everything installed into the car. The only thing we don't have installed is the amplifier. And I don't want to install it just yet. I want to see, is there a really big noticeable difference um, just with the speakers? So I can kind of show you as a comparison of basically a bass sound system, just upgrading the speakers and the subwoofers, and then also upgrading the speakers, subwoofers, and the amplifier in the back. I know doing the whole thing is going to sound absolutely amazing, but I just want to see how much of a difference it is um, just the speakers. So that's 
that's basically the original amplifier in the car right now. Let's go ahead, connect to Bluetooth, play the exact same song, and see, guys, is there a big difference? I can guarantee you guys, years down the road, I'm gonna be looking at myself like, Nor, <laughs> what are you doing? The first thing you install into your car is speakers, but hey, guys, the Black Friday deal is here, and I know that I got a good deal. I want you guys to get this good deal before it ends. Now, without further ado, it looks like the radio does have some power, which is great news. Um, it does look like our Bluetooth has power as well. Let's go ahead and close this door. Bro, the car is shaking, dude. Guys, I don't know if you guys can hear the difference already. Wow, hold up. What? what, dude? No way. This is the E91 M3 build I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> oh, somebody's calling me. Nick, bro, it's not the time. So I figured out what's going on here. So the bass is on 10, the treble's on 10. That being said, the stock speaker looked like it couldn't even handle when the bass and the treble was on 10. Um, that being said, uh, these speakers handle it so, so, so well. It sounded so, so, so good. Let me go ahead and just change up the song real quick. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I know the amplifier is gonna sound better, but if you guys are on a budget, while the Black Friday deal is still live, I would honestly just get the speakers, the subwoofer, and this kit for completely for free. Get 10% off on the speakers. If you guys can't afford the amplifier i cannot wait to install the amplifier it's gonna look so good back there it's gonna add some detail some character to the car and it's also gonna be able to make the sound system sound so much better um but oh my god i gotta change up the song because i honestly this is unreal guys all right all right let's turn up this let's turn this up real quick i'm literally sitting in my car <laughs> it's a fully stripped car i'm just sitting inside listening to music <laughs> with my brand new battery i just installed as well hope i don't kill this battery bruh I'm speechless. That is insane. All right, all right. You know what? I wanna, I wanna go ahead and install the amplifier. That just sounds insane. I'm just, ah oh man, I'm so happy. Let's go ahead, unbox that amplifier, get that thing set up and installed. Because honestly, let's, let's get this amplifier out of here. I want, I want to hear what life has to offer. Now I'm not gonna lie. I did expect an amazing sound system, but I'm, I, I, I'm honestly speechless. The fact that I haven't even installed the amplifier yet, and they literally told me this is gonna make it sound multiple times better. Not even just twice as better. Multiple times better so super stoked to install this this is basically the brains of the system and again you can configure it any way you want with this bad boy right now i'm using the stock amplifier and everything was plug and play so if you guys literally just want a sound system that's plug and play super easy to install this is the way to go and then also if you guys want to ever upgrade down the road you can get the amplifier as well or you can get this whole bundle together while this is still actually the price of the old version um during the black friday if you use the black friday code down below but yeah, anyways i'm not gonna lie i am fortunate and i am blessed um that i get to work with this company right over here again i've actually purchased my first set from them and uh over the years you know i just i absolutely love them and i was hoping to you know form a partnership with them and i'm just thankful and i'm blessed um that that's the situation this isn't something i would purchase for a car that, that you know i purchased for two thousand bucks but for definitely like an m3 or a 335 that i plan on keeping long term in this you know you don't you have the base 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 sound system this is definitely the way to go especially for you know a daily driver or again like i said like an m3 like your dream spec your dream build and you want to make it absolutely perfect this is just the way to go and uh wow again i just took this off check this out guys so in the box you guys can see this thing has a bracket on here and uh long story short this bracket bolts directly into your factory bracket so this is gonna get mounted like factory and it comes with the harness to allow you to plug this into the factory harness so that being said let's just go ahead and connect all these connectors to the back of this so that is the first one which is the tiny one uh this one goes over here and then this last one this black connector goes in the end right over here thankfully it only goes in one way so uh yeah now that we actually have all this connected as you guys can see uh bada bing bada bang this just connects to your factory harness and that's it like literally i'm just going to take off three bolts replace this setup plug this in and uh, we should be hearing what it's like to be alive because uh, guys, sound systems, again, I'm not, I'm not like a huge sound person, but I can admire a good sounding sound system. And this, 
I'm not gonna lie, it's the best sounding SaaS system that any of my friends have and myself, and this is just, nor you promoted this too heavily, you talk too much about this, but again, like for those of you guys who are long time subscribers, I don't promote anything that I'm against, I promote this and I'm promoting it heavily because I honestly love it. And for those of you guys who've been looking out for a speaker setup, like honestly, there's no other brand that I would go with for a BMW at least. Also in the bag, it looks like it actually comes with some other connectors, it's for like a remote or something, we don't need that, so I'm actually just gonna put this bag back in the box just in case we ever need it down the road. But uh, now that we have this pretty much set up, let's go ahead and head back to the car and get this bad boy installed. So now that we got the old one out, you guys can even see that this one looks like just in terrible condition. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this amp off the bracket. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the bracket before putting on the new amp. So now that the bracket's all cleaned up, let's just go ahead and install the new amplifier. Um, so it should be direct plug and play. All right, it actually says remove this. I don't know why <laughs> I did not catch the drift. Guys, so we finally hooked up the amplifier. Let's head inside the car and see how big of a difference it is when you guys put in their brand new amplifier. All right, guys, power back to the car. Let's go ahead and play the exact same song real quick. Okay, it is clear, super clear. <laughs> I love this bass, guys. <laughs> Feels like a home theater. Guys, that's clean. 